and welcome to a bonus edition of Cracking the Cryptic, where I'm going to attempt to do just that and crack a cryptic crossword. And now the puzzle I was intending to do uh, was by Dave Gorman, but I didn't realise that um, it actually appeared in the Guardian newspaper here in the UK. And the Guardian's website is appalling for trying to record videos on because you basically have to keep scrolling up and down the clues and the grid disappears. So I'm not sure it's going to be suitable for a video. So what I thought I might do instead is to attempt the Times cryptic crossword today, and it's Friday the 8th of February. Now, the interesting thing about the Times on Friday is it tends to be their most difficult of puzzle of the week. Although the Times is official policy is that there is no difference between the sort of difficulty of the puzzles day to day. Um, I think experience suggests to those of us who solve the times every day that the Friday puzzle is normally the hardest. So that's the one I'm going to try and do for you. Um, and I think to do that I have to click here. So let me hope I've got the window size correct. It looks like we do. So let's kick off and let's get cracking. Um, ancient lines read back exit play without hindrance. I have no idea what that is, like literally none. Observe judge with personality. Pff, judge could be rah, rah, <laughs> no idea what that is either. Okay, tragedy where frenzied exposure consumes princess. Well, princesses quite often die, as in Princess Di, Princess Diana. Um, sometimes it's Ida as well. Um, frenzied exposure, so it looks like, yeah, okay, so it's probably an anagram of exposure. It's, it's Oedipus Rex. There once was a man named Oedipus Rex. You may have heard about his odd complex. His name appears in Freud's index because he loved his mother. <laughs> uh, the great Tom Lehrer, of course. Um, so Oedipus Rex is the answer there. It's an anagram of exposure around hopefully dies in the middle. Yeah. OK, let's go back to one across. Ancient lines read back. Exit play without hindrance. Ancient lines. I'm sorry, I have no idea what that is. Um, let's try nine across. Syrian oh, Damascus. Barrage set to defend area. I mean, that must be Damascus, mustn't it? Uh, or Damascene, maybe? Um, barrage. Yeah, it is. It's Damascene. I think that this means someone from Damascus or something from Damascus, which is in Syria. So we've got Barrage, which is Dam. Scene, which is a set, as in something you might find at a theatre. And then A is area, so not an easy clue at all. We've got an M in three down. Oh, hem, probably. Edge. So you can see all I've done there is I'm just turning the clue into a quick crossword definition. Uh, one may observe, yes, one may observe in the Mendips. Now, this is the one hidden clue that you, the Times crossword has a policy that you can only have one hidden in every crossword. You don't have to have one, but if there is... If there is a hidden clue, there must only be one. And if you look inside the letters of the Mendips, you can observe the answer, H-E-M, which is, of course, a hem, which is an edge. Oh, so is this Ogham? That's some sort of ancient alphabet, isn't it? Red back, exit, play without hindrance. Oh, I think, okay. I think it is Ogham, but I'm not totally sure. My, my reading of the wordplay here is read back exit is saying read back a word that means exit. And if you exit somewhere, you go. So I think it's read back the word go and play without hindrance. I think this means to act or to ham it up. So if you if you're playing a part and you do it completely without restraint, you overact and you that that might be to ham so i think the answer is ogham but that is my best guess um suffering as scrooge might be described miserly having misery yes okay so suffering is misery so again always remember in a crypt cryptic crossword clue almost always the start of the clue or the end of the clue is just a quick crossword definition so suffering misery as Scrooge might be described, Scrooge might be described as miserly, and we remove L from that, and L is a valid abbreviation for pounds. Um, now, then we look at 11 across, which I'm going to have a go at without reading the clue. Power or poker, 
Um, don't don't know. <laughs> um, Frankie, maybe. Losing capital in urgent look for business. Press some. No, oh, no. Urgent. I was thinking pressing. Look for business. Frankie, maybe. Frankie Howard? Losing capital. Frankie... I'm sorry, I'm not seeing that one at all. Look for business. I, I want it to be a phrase that means look for business. That's the way I read the clue. Maybe ending in essing, so I actually quite want to put pressing around the outside. So if something's urgent, it's pressing. But I can't see what the answer is. Slaughtered, considerable number, slew. If you get a slew of something, you get a lot of it. And of course, if you slaughter something, you slay it. Past the tense of that is slew. Uh, 18 across, actress, given to sin, welcomed to Cathedral City. Well, if you ever see Cathedral City, in a cryptic crossword, it's very often Ely because it's such a useful collection of letters. So this is probably going to be the name of an actress, which is going to be very bad for me. Um, because I don't consider myself to be particularly good at naming actresses. Oh dear. Right, 12 down. Uh, shelters at sea, protecting scoundrel who benefits. So the way I read this is if something is at sea, it's all mixed up. So I want to anagram the word shelters, which gives me eight letters, protecting a three letter word for scoundrel. I'm thinking cur, C-U-R for that. Who, and it all means who benefits. Um, and the person that benefits is the, uh, some, who benefits. I want that to end in E double S, some sort of, you know, like an heiress. Um, but again, I think I'm just slightly on the wrong wavelength. Old Bob made a meal of fish. <laughs> Old Bob, is that a shilling? Um, made a meal of fish. Mm. Old Bob, I don't know what that is. I have no idea. Oh dear, so all of these good letters have been reduced to nothing and all I'm getting is some E's and some down answers. Right, let's have a check. Charlie to become informed about a church blessing. Um, hmm. Charlie is quite often C because it's the international radio word for the letter C. To become informed is to learn about a church. A blessing, is it something like clearance? Clearance. Let's have a look. Is a blessing a clear? If you oh, if you give someone your blessing, you are giving them permission. You're giving them clearance. So it probably is this. Um, so C to become informed is to learn about A. So you can see learn is about this A here, and then C E for Church of England. Church as uh, so when you see church in a cryptic crossword, it's almost always either C E or C H. So that gives us this observe judge with personality, celebrity, observe, don't know, a uh, fine deposit, smaller, a smaller amount covers nothing. Oh, okay. This is a very strange word. The only, I know this word from crosswords, a smaller amount, a smaller amount is less. And that's covering nothing. Oh, and that is some weird word for a deposit that I've only ever seen in crosswords. So that's probably right. Observe, judge. I want judge to be rate with personality. Oh, look. So this might end. Oh, so power dressing. A look. Oh, that's lovely. Oh, that's a lovely definition. Okay, it is power dressing. And when I was thinking of look for business, I was thinking of touting, you know, looking around trying to find business. But it's saying that your look, one's look, if you want to get business and do well in business, is to power dress. Isn't that a brilliant definition? So why is this word then? So Frankie Howard must be spelt very... I thought Frankie Howard was spelt, spelt H-O-W-A-R-D, but it's clearly not. It must be, it must be H-O-W-E-R-D. So Frankie Howard 
has lost what well, lost their capital, their first letter. So the H has disappeared, and that's all put put inside urgent pressing uh, to give power dressing, which is the answer. And that gives me a W in O. Oh, I'm totally wrong. Okay, well that's a bit surprising actually. Shelters at sea. I, I thought this was definitely going to be an anagram of shelters around Kerr. Who benefits? Scoundrel who benefits? Shelters at sea. Uh, ooh, I don't know. Wow. Okay, that one has confused me. Rather crude. Rather crude show about torture avoiding extremes. Hmm. I'm thinking it means rather crude, but that doesn't really help me to know the answer. Let's have a look at six down. Live with a marvellous sin-free divine. Hmm. Live with B, a marvellous sin-free divine. Gosh, I've got no clue. A minister without portfolio at first. Well, portfolio at first must be the letter P. Uh, gives serious offence. Okay, well, serious offence is serious offence is the definition. So well, you're looking for a word for a minister, six-letter word for a minister. We can remove P from it to give a serious offence, and the answer is arson. Parson without their P gives us the answer we're looking for. So this one may be scandalous date when soldier soldiers upset tribe. Scandalous. Um, in upset tribe. Date when souls scandal. I want this to be something like designation or assignation or resignation, because a tribe could be a nation at the end. That's the only reason. And GIs, I suppose, would be soldiers, and they would be upside down. So that actually does seem. When? Oh, scandalous date is an assignation. Okay, that's the answer. And it's when, as, GI is reversed, soldiers upset, a tribe is a nation, an assignation could be described as a scandalous date. Not easy again. Petunia picked in prime locations for Sicilian eminence. Well, that must be Mount Etna. That is in Sicily, and it's certainly an eminent thing. So why is it this? Oh, I see why. It's quite a, quite a cute clue, actually. If you look at the word Petunia and take the uh, prime numbered letters in that word, you take the second, the third, the fifth, and the seventh, and that gives you the E-T-N-N-A. For Etna, so that is all quite straightforward. So it does look like it ends in rate here for judge, doesn't it? So celebrate, observe. If you celebrate, okay, celebrate. A celeb is a personality. And if you put judge with the word celeb, you get celebrate, which is to observe, as in to observe a, a religious festival or something like that. So it does look like this is B with something. Live with, live. If you live, you be with A, that's going to be that A, and it is going to be this A, or at least I'm expecting it to be, because otherwise, why would that A be in the clue? Remember, a good cryptic crossword clue has no, nothing superfluous in it. So this clue would have meant the same if, we'd, if, we'd, if it was written live with marvellous sin-free divine. So why is there an A in it? Live with a marvellous sin-free divine. Well, it must be because the A is important for the wordplay. And that's why I think it's there. Um, divine. To divine is to be a beatitude or something. Be, be, be a marvellous. Something of marvellous. Beatif, beatif, beatific, terrific. Oh, goodness, goodness me, that's difficult. Wow, that is answer. That is the answer. Beatific, which I think means divine. Why on earth is this the answer? Well, B-A we've dealt with. Now it's the word terrific, which has lost its er, E-double-R. Now, now to er is to sin. 
So, so, so if you take the word er uh, out of the word terrific, you get tific, which you put on the end of your ba, ba, and you get beatific, which I think is the answer. That is not easy. That is really not easy. Um, right, 19 across. Suicide in Aeneid accomplished nothing. Dido, I think, committed suicide in the Aeneid. If you accomplished something, you did it. Nothing is O, and that gets us the answer. Where do you where 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 you'd see old boy in shape and soon? Um, blah, 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 blah. I have no idea what that's talking about. Twenty one across. Q and hit a second cracking long shot. Q snooker. Q no Q Q could be to prompt, couldn't it? And hit a second cracking long shot. I have not got a clue what that's talking about either. It's one of those one of those answers that I suspect we're going to need some letters for. Um, so we've done quite well at the top look, but unfortunately most of what we've done is not leading to profit in the bottom. Let's look at 16 down. Seriously old, walls in home. Seriously, gravely old, seriously. It's quite difficult to pass this clue. I think it means seriously. I don't think it's likely to mean seriously old. So I think we need a word for old, which I'm thinking aged perhaps, or ancient. And that needs to wall in, it needs to surround a word that means home. Now home in crosswords can often just mean in, be the word in, or can sometimes be HO, which I think is a valid abbreviation for house. Um, seriously. Seriously. I'm not sure, sorry. Um, let's try that one, <laughs> which is not looking very profitable, is it? Which letter is used twice? In this academic submission thesis, the S's, which letter is used twice, the S's, I think that is the answer, that's quite clever, because if you read the word thesis, the S is used twice in it, so it's sort of, you know, it means what it says, that's nice, so that could be change, something change, or phonic, or... Um, Q and hit a second cracking long shot. Hmm. Uh, second something chance. A long shot would be a, a sort of uh, hit a Q and hit a second cracking. I wonder if it's an anagram actually. Can we somehow construct 13 letters from this? To, um, Q and... Yeah, okay. If we take the word Q and we, and we add it to the, the letters of hit a second, we do get 13 letters. And I think I can make chance out of that for the second word. So, what's the first word got in it that we haven't used yet? It's got S and D and U um, and T. Whoops. Ah. Um, and what else? Anything else obvious? E. It's got a, there's another E in there. Sorry, I should just be able to do this, but I'm not seeing it. I, a long shot is a, oh no, outside chance. It must have an O in it as well. Yeah, it does. Okay, there we go. I think I put those in in the most un, uh, unhelpful way. Right, 17 down. Three different articles on scholar, one detested. Well, articles of, are articles of speech like a, an, the, on scholar anathema. There you go. Something detested is an anathema. And if you put a, uh, if you put an, which is a first article, a, which is a second article, the, which is a third article, on ma, which is a scholar, a master of arts, 
we get one detested, an anathema. Oh, so this is this name of this actress. Ellen Terry? I have no idea who that is or if that is a real person, but that has just popped in my head. Ellen Terry would actually be interesting because uh, that does have Ely around the outside of it. Er, again, is it being used for sin, is it? Oh, yeah, this is right. Ellen Terry must be a person because um, Ely is being put around, given to, lent, and Er for sin. So Ellen Terry apparently might be a person. So is this wheelbarrow? No, not wheelbarrow. Wheel something? Shelters at sea. Wheelhouses? Oh, a heel. A heel is a scoundrel. Um, protecting. Yeah, that's a beautiful clue, actually. Very clever wordplay. So, shelters at sea must be wheelhouses. And then protecting the word scoundrel, or a word for scoundrel, which is a heel. You've got who, which is just spelt out, W-H-O, and benefits uses. So we put all that together and we get wheelhouses. Now, can we get 24 across? Leader should abandon modest expedition. So this is going to be a word for modest, six letter word. We're going to abandon that, the leader of that word. And we're going to get a word that means expedition, which is haste, I think. If you do something with expedition, you do it hastily. Modest is chaste, so chaste without its fur, its leader gives us haste. So old Bob made a meal of fish. Old Bob made a meal of fish. I don't know, I'm afraid. I, I was thinking Chad and Shad. I was thinking like S, S for shilling, made a meal of, had. It could be that, you know, a shad is a type of fish. Let's, let's see if that D is justifiable. Um, gap, admitting one to underworld. Underworld will be this. A knees up is a mm, gap, admitting one to underworld. knees up we're having a uh, we're having a party I don't know Irish with a question oh one for Arab that's Iraqi that's actually probably the easiest clue we've had so far Irish is just IR with a question a Q and you might have seen that abbreviation for question it's in Q&A for example and one is just the Roman numeral for the number one the I so that looks all sensible, doesn't it? Oh, this is the seriously old one. Walls in home. Seriously, severely. No, it doesn't, it's not spelled like that. Um, oh, so that could be a Y. Disparity? Is a gap a dis... Yes, oh yes, that's right. Good grief. Okay, good. Why is this right? Well, let's have a think. So we're, we're admitting one, which is this... Roman numeral for the number one, to underworld, dis, and a knees up is a party. So we put one in dis party and we get disparity, which is a gap. So that is, so that does suggest we're looking for the adverb here, aren't we? We're looking for a word that means seriously. Um, but my, my word for old is not aged. It's, it's ending in Y, elderly. No, I don't like that. Um, walls in home. <sighs> wow. I don't know. Let's see if we can get this one. Italian back among Somalis playing very high. Oh, gosh, this is going to be an, an orchestral word. Um, altis, altissimo or something. Let's have, I'll, put, I'll put altissimo in uh, altissimo in because it sounds like it might be right but I've got and I'm seeing an it backwards for Italian so that's oh an anagram of Somalis okay so we need an anagram of Somalis around a reversal of it so have we got an anagram of Somalis S 
O M A L I S. I think that's right. So I think it is altissimo. Right. Sound made by duck for prince. Oh, that's so weird. We talked about this earlier. Princess in opera. Well, we talked about a princess in a crossword being die. And I said the other princess you sometimes see is Princess Ida, from which which is from the opera. So. So an Ida, an Ida is in E I D E R is a type of duck. So as this is a homophone for that type of Ida, and it gives us Ida, which is the answer. Course speech succeeded with Metropolis director. Um, slang, I was thinking. Metropolis director was that Lang? I see. I don't know. Metropolis director makes it's making me think of a mayor, but then it may be the director. I have heard there is a film called Metropolis, but I haven't got a clue who who was the director of that. Um, course speech. If it's not slang, what's it going to be? I don't know. Can we justify a G in this one? Where you'd see old boy in shape and soon. And soon. So if this was a G. It doesn't look great actually, does it? Um, before long. Before long. Wow. Wow. Okay. Maybe it is right. So let's try and justify this. Where you'd see old boy in shape wow uh, and soon where you'd see old boy oh wow this is a really beautiful clue gosh that's not easy to see right why is this right where you'd see old boy now old boy I'm very aware has an abbreviation of OB in crosswords so if you put an OB before the word long, you would get the word oblong, which is a shape. So where you would see the old boy in old boy in a shape is if you take the word oblong, you'd see the OB before the word long. So the answer is to the word play is before long and before long means soon. So I think that is going to be slang. And we've only got two left now, but this one looks very rather crude indelicate maybe let's put that in and see if we can justify it indelicate show indicate about torture avoiding extremes so in torture is hell i think so el here it's very difficult this but if you took the word hell which is a word for torture and you took the extreme letters away you avoided the extreme letters you knock the h and the l out you get el you put that inside indicate and then you get indelicate which is rather crude now oh this was so earnestly earnestly must be the answer seriously okay so, but we just have to justify it before i click submit um so old early walls in home nest there we go so I think this could be correct. Let's submit it and see. And the answer is, have we made a mistake? No, we haven't. No, we haven't. So how long do, do I think this added to my time to, to, to explain it? I think it probably doubles the time, maybe a bit more than doubles it. So I don't think this would have been an utterly dreadful time if I'd, if I'd sort of tried to speed through it. But it's a, you can see it's a beautiful puzzle. It really is. There's a lot to admire here. My personal favourites were, I really loved power dressing. That's a quality clue. And I also loved, um, there was another one. I, I loved oblong or the before long. That was very clever. Um, and the words like beatific, that's really hard. <laughs> that's really hard. Um, I'm trying to see. I mean, even, oh, Oedipus Rex I liked because it, it allowed me to say my bit about Tom Lehrer. Anyway, I hope that was fun. I hope you enjoyed that. Those of you who enjoy the cryptic crossword content and we'll be back later with another edition of Cracking the Cryptic.